cabinet is the most representative, both in terms of form, substance, equity, equality, and diversity since we got independence in this country. Mr. Speaker, I commend the President for looking at the four corners of this country and making sure that we are looking for the best. Mr. Speaker, I have been around for quite a long time. I remember the first cabinet of this country, how it was, all the way to the one we have here now. I think this country is better united today and more cohesive with this kind of a cabinet than it has ever been in the history of independent Kenya. Mr. Speaker, I am also confident that these ministers or CSS cabinet secretaries will do a good job. And of the, just like that, on a casual look, I see a number of good people who have done a good job previously, who are again featuring in this. Kendiki, Davis Chirchir, Duale, and many others, many others. And then I also see some very good, powerful, fresh blood like Mbadi. Mbadi has been in the Public Accounts Committee from the days we, we were in Parliament, me and you here, in the 10th Parliament. So he knows exactly what goes on in... Mr. Speaker, can I have one more minute? Uh, he knows exactly what happens in the in Treasury, inside out, and I'm sure he's going to do a very good job. Mr. Speaker, let's give this cabinet uh, space. Let's support them. Let's support our president in this case because this country has got to be kept together. Those who are running around with all these demonstrations and the rest, I have seen what a failed state. Done. John Waluke, I added you a minute, yes. Yes. Give him one minute. <laughs> Thank you. Give Mr. him one Mr. minute. Mr. Speaker, I have seen what a failed state is like. People were laughing the other day, yesterday, that Bangladesh civilians have gone and taken over the state house. Bangladesh is under military rule today as we talk. It's under military rule, and watch what is going to happen. Mr. Speaker, the same thing that we are seeing here is what was in Sudan. Young students, my daughters went to school in Sudan, going out there and demonstrating and saying, revolution, revolution, revolution. What do we have today? 15 million people displaced, over, over a million people dead, and a country that has no hope for the next 30 years. Mr. Speaker, let us save our country. Let us give our president sufficient space this is the first time we have a president who is willing to reach out to every sector of the society and debate with them. And we are calling him all sorts of names. That's not fair. Let's give him a chance, and let's see how this thing can be pulled out of where we are now and how we can take our country to the next level. Of John Waluke. Thank you uh, very much, Honorable Speaker, for giving me a chance also to contribute on this uh, report. A committee report, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I want to thank the President for the appointment 